Hey, what's up you guys? It's Pwn Sweet. And uh, it seems like all the pieces are in place. Everything is is sort of right for me to do a commentary. Um, you know, it was a while ago that I discovered that, uh, that my best commentaries happen after I've done exercise. Like, I don't know why. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact that usually after I do exercise, I'm happier. And so because I'm happier, my commentaries are more upbeat and more positive rather than being, you know, depressive and, uh, and boring. But, uh, but today I've already done exercise and, uh, today I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So this morning I woke up at like 3am, no joke, like literally 3am. And, uh, you know, for the next hour or so, I was trying to get to sleep again, and I just couldn't. I had too much on my mind. Um, to be all on, like, to be honest with you guys, what I really wanted to do was just Yo, play Battlefield guys, 4. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. It's, it's, it's for some reason, that's what yes, I was thinking yes, about. Um, and I couldn't get it out of my head. I was just thinking about, like, how to... Because I've got a problem with Battlefield 4, and that is that, like, I can't... I can't wrap my head around the game. I can't... I can't... I don't get it. Like, I don't get that game. Don't like, care. like I get really Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty just yeah, makes sense to me. I understand the flow of the game. And, uh, I understand, I know what's possible. Matter. I know what you it's can and can't do. And, uh, you know, like, I know the limitations with Call of Duty. And I know how to, how to cancel everything so that I can do everything as quickly as possible. And, uh, you know, I know its limits. I know my limits in the game. I don't know um, that at all with Battlefield 4. Like, like Battlefield 4 for me is one huge question mark. I just, I just don't understand the game at all. Like I don't, I don't even know how to. For for the like for the longest time, I didn't even know how to unlock weapons. I still don't know how to unlock certain things in the game. Um, I just can't. I just don't get it. Like, <laughs> what I need is I need somebody to sit down with me and say, okay. This is how Battlefield 4 works. This is what you can and can't do. There are no perks in the game. You can't make it so that you ADS quicker and there's no nothing. There's no specialist. It's, it's very, it's more simulation. It's not arcade. It's, there's no, you know, the aim assist is, there's none. You can't use Wemo. It's, it's, I'm really out of my element. Like, I'm like a fish out of water in that game. No joke. Like, when I play that game. I just, I'm horrible at it. <laughs> I mean, but, but I, I also see it as a challenge and I want to try and get good at the game. Like I do, even though I suck at it, you know, and, and I think that's the mentality you should have. Like I, I really do. Like, even if you, like it's in Call of Duty, you know, if you're not good at this game, you know, you can get good at the game. Like I promise you it's possible. It just requires perseverance and practice. And that's, I'm at the stage where you're at right now, where you just can't get this game. Well, you know, that's where I'm at with Battlefield. And, you know, I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm going to, like, I'm going to grasp that game. I'm going to wrap my head around everything, and I'm going to figure out what the the best class is for me. You know, like, in this game, I know what the best classes are. You know, I don't run around with LMGs, you know, whereas in Battlefield, I don't know. Like, are LMGs a viable weapon? I don't know. Like, I, I, I haven't, I don't know. I haven't tested. I... I, it's very difficult to test, in fact, as well. Like, you can't play against bots to try stuff out. You know, you got a testing range in Battlefield 4, which uh, which wasn't in Battlefield 3, as far as I know. Uh, but there's no opponents, so you, you can't verse like anyone. You can't see... You can't have, like, a computer player or a second player. Maybe you can, actually. I don't have a second controller for my PS4, so it kind of is irrelevant. But, yeah. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's 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 what kept me up. That's what I was thinking about all night, and I was just trying to figure out what I was going to do today, um, in the game to try and sort of like what I'm going to learn today in the game, what I'm going to try. Um, and you know, I went through the same thing with Call of Duty. I, I did. Like when I first started playing Call of Duty, I was not very good. You know, I was testing out everything and figuring out what works for me. And uh, and I think you got to do that. Like if you're at all interested in so, in progressing and getting better that's something i think every player that every good player goes through um so i had just to completely change topic i had someone ask me in uh, in my last video that i put up which i also do want to talk about um 
why do I shoot the cars randomly? Um, well, I do that so that I don't die from the cars at some point later on in the stage. And, uh, and I also do it as like, you know, you see like some of the other like top pro players, what they do is they sort of switch their weapon so that they're busy, they're keeping their hands busy and warm. I do that with a KSG. I just pump cancel randomly into car into cars and stuff um, just to be on my game, just to warm up, just to keep, keep, you know, keep it up, keep everything happening, keep fluid, keep warm, keep quick, that kind of stuff. Um, now about that last video. So, so the last video I put up was a, uh, a true 60 frames per second on YouTube test video. Um, it's accomplished by slowing down the video to half the playback rate. And then what you do is you play back the video in two times speed and you get the full 60 frames experience of the game. Um, provided it was recorded at 60 frames per second, which it is because I record everything at 60 frames per second. And, uh, and I, I realize that a lot of you guys probably couldn't um, watch that video because uh, I understand that on a lot of mobile devices, the option to play back at two times speed just isn't there. So, um, so uh, I can imagine that some of you guys may have been disappointed that you couldn't watch it. Um, so it was just a test anyway. It's not something I plan on doing Un unless you guys like want that, um, like on a, on a, you know, regular basis every time I upload, which is admittedly not very regular. Um, and then I can do that, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. You tell me, what do you want me to do? Otherwise I'm just going to go back to my regular 30 frames per second motion blur. I spoke earlier about being on an exercise regime, uh, exercise thing where I started exercising. So what I'm thinking of doing is, um, this is actually what I wanted to talk about today, but I never got around to it because I got distracted by battlefield. Damn you battlefield. Um, but yeah, so, so basically what I'm, what I've been doing is for the last like three weeks now, I've been exercising every day and, uh, you see that drifter has got like a game of fitness thing happening on his channel. And that's not why I'm doing it. In fact, uh, several years ago, probably about four or five years ago, I did the same sort of thing. I really got into exercise. I started exercising about an hour every single day for about three months or four months straight. I lost tons of weight, started looking really good. And then what happened was I reached my, um, I'm, just to get this out there, I'm not like insanely overweight or anything. I'm just, I just wanted to get that real athletic toned look. Whereas before that I was just kind of um, average, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'm average kind of now as well. So what I wanted to do was I, want, I still want to now go back to that really toned look. And about five or four, four or five years ago, I actually got pretty close. Um, and so now what I want to do is I want to do the same thing. Oh, I've gone over time, damn.